So I don't usually do tutorials, but I was scouring YouTube looking for tutorials on how to make a digital duo shade effect for comics, and I couldn't find anything. Uh, if you end up liking this tutorial, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that YouTube stuff, and maybe I'll make some more. Uh, duo shade is now a largely extinct process in which an artist dips a brush into a chemical and spreads it on a special piece of paper to reveal a line pattern in the paper, as you can see. Uh, the effect is featured a lot on cartoonist Kayfabe's YouTube channel. Um, it, you can see it in one of my previous videos uh, that I went through in Howard Jake and Star Wars work. Ed Piscor replicated the Outlaw Comics looks of the 1980s, which you can see up here with his Red Room comic. Uh, not only the duo shade look, but yellowed paper, weathered looking inks. Uh, Ed actually scanned in duo shade paper, and that's not something most of us have the ability or money to do because duo shade manufacturing is shut down. Finding what little is left in the secondhand market is super expensive. So that is the effect I'm going to show you how to achieve in Photoshop in this video. Not just the duo shade, but the weathered paper and grungy ink look that Ed accomplishes with his duo shade sheets. Uh, first, I'm going to do a little bit of Red Room fan art for this video. Uh, nothing fancy, just something that fits the mood. Like I said before, YouTube tutorials on the subject are either absent or extremely hard to find. Uh, I didn't come up with anything, but I did find a site called Cat's Paw Dynamics. They do art restoration uh, and touch-ups. They provide a brief tutorial uh, and download files for making duo shade effect in Photoshop. I'll provide a link in the description. Um, unfortunately for most people who can't afford the entire Adobe Creative Suite, their diagonal line images are Adobe Illustrator files. Uh, so I turned them into JPEGs and I'll link those in the description as well. Now that we have our diagonal line files, I drop them into Photoshop. Uh, the Photoshop file of the artwork. I sized them to the artwork and set both layers to multiply uh, so that it will only show the dark lines and leave the white part between the lines transparent. I then create a layer mask for the left facing and right facing line layers and make sure that the mask is all black. If you're not familiar with layer masks, black makes uh, anything on the layer invisible and white makes anything visible. Uh, think of it like a stencil. Now that I have that set up, I start painting white marks on the layer mask, which makes the line pattern visible where I make it white. When you look at the layers on the right, make sure you select the layer mask box and not the box with the line pattern in it. I do the same thing for the opposite facing line layer, and I come back in with some blacks to cut out some of the lines. To get that yellowed paper, I put a high-res scan of the paper I downloaded from texturelabs.org underneath the line work. And to make the inks look grungy, I added a distressed ink texture I also got from Texture Labs and put it above everything else and set the layer to screen or lighten or uh, color dodge, anything that uh, would basically make the white imperfections in the ink apply to the blacks to all the layers underneath it. And after that, if you know how, you can play with adjustments to make the paper a little more yellow or apply different ink patterns uh, to it to see if you like it. I suggest getting a lot of different textures. Uh, so each piece of artwork you do looks a little bit different from the last. Uh, and again, if you like this tutorial and want more, let me know and I will make some. Okay, that's it. You can now get out there and make your own Outlaw Comics. Good luck.